brilliant. We're on. Um, I'm going to get the interpreter yeah, sure. in as well, if that's all right. Yes, it's um, <laughs> This is for the screen. Um, right, my first question really is, with your extensive knowledge of gadgets, are there any you think we should know about and profile on pesky people? Is there anything that springs to mind that was this is the, stand out? I mean, it's just, I mean, it's the same gadgets that everybody's interested in. I, 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 I guess there must be. Um, ooh, what, I mean, there's such a, such a vast field. It's hard to predict, make, make one. I mean, I, I'm just sort of interested this year in what sort of uh, what sort of where phones manufacturers are going to come up with. Whether any of them are going to be as good as, uh, as as good as the iPhone. I'm going to be interested in 3D technology. Whether it's actually going to take off. I'm just whether. Whether, whether the iPad is going to be innovative or not, I'm uh, <laughs> good one, uh, yeah. interested to see. I'm just on a wider scale, you know, how the whole business of um, you know, copyright and the media is, uh, is, is is sorted out, especially with this sort of digital economy bill and everything like that. Perhaps, perhaps I'm far too serious and get into it. To get this, so no, 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 not at all. <laughs> not at all. Um, actually, leads me on to one of the questions of what's important to you when you're checking out and finding new gadgets. When I what, what, what really gets you excited? What, 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 which particular bits get me excited? I, 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 tend, to like, I t tend, to, tend to like new computers, yeah. I tend to like new cameras quite a lot. I do quite a lot of photography, so if, they, if, uh -huh. there's, if there's something that pushes the boundaries there, I'm, I'm really interested in. I mean, I just love the way that digital SLRs now are used for video, and you can get sort of in a relatively cheap camera. I mean, I know it's not massively cheap, but in things like uh, the, the latest Canon DSLR, the 550D for around £600, you can get actually some almost Hollywood quality movies with limited amounts of depth of field and all that sort of thing. And the fact that I like it when a, a bit of technology comes along that makes something possible that has not been possible before. I think it's a bit of a rabbit hole, isn't it? I that's why. No, <laughs> no, not at all. Fantastic. Um, I've got a challenge for you. Um, I know that you take up lots of challenges on the gadget show Ooh, and go yes, through all I'm sorts of trials and tribulations and getting very wet and oh, yes, freezing yes. cold and blown open gales and all the rest of it. Um, what do you think of taking up Pesky People's Challenge to explore and feature accessible, useful gadgets for disabled and deaf people on the gadget show? Should, should we do that as a, as a, as a challenge on the yeah. gadget show? Right. I think I, I think we probably should. I I I, I quite like people to suggest um, just this to our producers who tend to decide what the um, what the um, what goes in each program and the overall subjects of, of the challenges. And, uh -huh. and if uh, pe if people have come across pieces of gadgetry that they think do help them, I think they'd very much uh, like to know about it. Um, well, a good one for me is like I've got digital hearing aids, so also wireless, that so can connect to Bluetooth. Um, if I press one, the other one reacts. They change automatically in background sounds and stuff. So they're only like two months old, <laughs> from my point of view. It's like, so technology can change things in, in some really great ways. Yes, well, that, that is something that helps cut out background sound. So it's rather similar to noise cancelling headphones, but... Yeah, they cut out background sounds. Um, I can connect to my mobile, um, my iPod. It will work with the Bluetooth, so you get dual sound into both ears. It's got five different settings, so I can go out to gigs. I can be in a car, get the background noise cut out, so I can listen to conversations. So, for me, it's a very useful yes, gadget. And it's only been out for two months? This one's two months. Um, my, it's the newest one that I've got, courtesy of the NHS. Oh, so yeah, the NHS out. has something good coming out of it. Again, oh, it's become better in the latest version, has it? Has it really best. improved. Um, the first digital, the first digital phones that came out interfered with hearing aids, so you'd get like a buzzing noise going on. So that's the only reason the NHS started providing <laughs> digital ones because there was too many mobile phones took off, and yeah, you know they had to do something to yeah, sort it out. Well, that I mean, sounds, sounds fascinating. I mean, I must, I'm just looking your blog to see what you're using. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you my card. So yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we're, we're, we're very new. We're very, we've um, been gone for seven months, but already get a lot of attention. And we've just had an unlimited 4IP fund award for me to develop it as an individual. And I've also the ins one of the inspiring voices for the Media Trust. So we're getting recognition. It's just need to get it really off the ground. So, 
but it'll be really interesting to get your feedback in. Thank you for the interview. Yeah, feedback on? Get the feedback on the website once you have a look. Oh yes, I'd like that. I'd like to have a look. Yes, 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 yes. Yep. I'd very much would like to have a look at your website, definitely. Yes, I'd, uh, and your blog. And uh, and what else do you put on there? You put on um, there? We're going to, from today, we're going to start putting up things to do with products and different issues around gadgets and stuff. So that that's going to be very new. And one of the other things we're going to develop is a hot and not in terms of good websites and you know how digital stuff comes in and be really great but at the same time whether it's accessible or not yes, and so really challenge a few people at the same yes, time it's all disappearing i mean it was the whole concept of digital is, a, is actually a very changing thing isn't it like websites and so Absolutely. on because i mean it used to, used to be when a newspaper came out it stuck it, you put it in the library you could go back and refer to it for years hence but uh, websites no longer exist in their old forms i was fascinated in some library or other i didn't know it was a I think it was the British Library, it was actually, wasn't it, conserving and... Lots yeah, they of conserve in the archives of yeah. websites, yep. Mm. They're certainly doing that. Um, and there's lots of talk about how do you preserve something now that's not going to be available technology-wise in the future, like floppy disks are out, well, you know, the, what's happening with, uh, like, VHS, mm. you know, looking at all the range of gadgets on your whole frame and thinking, oh, we had that, we had that, oh, that's gone. I was, I was thinking, <laughs> the example that always occurs to me, that is when I, my, my earlier careers, I used, used to produce a car program top gear before. They, yeah. I used to work briefly on a history program called Time Watch, and in the office, yeah. uh, we did something on the sort of Doomsday Project in 1986. That was all the schools in Britain recorded the things about their local communities. So it was going to be like it was like another Doomsday Project, but it was all recorded on Philips laser discs. And the irony is that you could actually, it's very hard to get machines now to play these things. So the irony was you could look at the original Doomsday book, but not the one that was done in 1986, <laughs> which seems all wrong somehow. Yep, uh, that's progress for us, isn't it? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much. Oh, no, it's got right, yes, I'm aware you... I was thinking pesky, but it is actually as in pesky. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. gosh, I don't know. <laughs>